It's been years in the making. Home sweet home. A plan to travel the U.S. in the comfort of our custom converted 40-foot bus. We've been living comfortably in our bus for over a month now, and we're so proud of what we've built. So we forced ourselves to make a hard deadline to finish our six-page checklist in the hopes to start our life of full-time travel. We're going to start with... We're at the station. Pick a great morning, go on a ladder, and try to fix the electrical. What we're most nervous about is getting out of the driveway. <sighs> it's the night before we leave. We've hit a bit of a snag, so it's been welded wrong. <sighs> and it's an issue. Another obstacle here for us. Now Mella has to help me. I'm gonna try some troubleshooting. Is the very first stop we need to make is to mechanic. Just trying to get out of here this week. This is it, guys. Try to hold back the tears. After we moved into the bus a few weeks ago, we knew we wanted to get a second mini split installed in the front of our bus. We mounted the condenser on a swivel mount, and then did the same on the other side of the back unit. Got the engine covered off with a tarp. I got this little piece of metal sticking up that I need to cut off. This should go pretty smooth, fingers crossed. One more thing on the list is we need to trim a bunch of trees so that we could even pull the bus out of the driveway. Dad bought a new uh, extension chainsaw, so we're gonna have a little father and son chainsaw bond. This three year project has taken much more time than we anticipated, but it's also meant that I've gotten to spend so much time with my mom and dad. I'm appreciative for every project every late, long day we've gotten to spend together. Unfortunately, I get a little more than I planned for during father and son chainsaw bonding time, but more on that later. We just got ourselves a telescopic retractable ladder so we can take a ladder with us on our travels. But I asked Don to set it up for me. Whoa. <laughs> you see, that's why I didn't want to do it because I figured I'd probably pull over. Look at that. That's so high. You like it? Yeah, it's going to be great. I got the ladder out because these windows are filthy. Have to get them clean. It looks so much better on the outside. Eleftheria is almost ready to make her debut out in the world. One more giant thing we gotta check off the list before we can go is to sort out uh, my tools. I'd love to have just about every kind of tool that we need to fix the interior or if there's anything going on with the bus mechanically that I can fix myself, I'd like to have that. The problem is my tool area is chaos. So I want to get it sorted, cleaned up. Mel is going to come out and help me with that today. We have plans to mount a huge tool chest on sliders, but if we keep trying to complete every project on our dream list, we fear we will never leave. So we've decided to use totes for now to keep everything organized. It looks like so much stuff right now. <laughs> 
take off. Is this really all gonna fit into that luggage bag? But I think once it's organized, it'll fit. All right, how do you feel about it? Hot. I need a shower. This looks very full, but back there, there's actually a lot of empty space behind all the stuff that's in the front. So we're feeling pretty good about it. It's not technically full and it's gonna be good. Took a little break from uh, getting things together for the journey. Mella needed a haircut. Pretty excited to see how it turns out. You guys ever shocked when your significant other gets a haircut? Oh, it looks really cute. Uh, do you like it? Yes, yeah, I do a lot. Big improvement from the sweaty mess outside today, right? <laughs> yeah, it looks great. <laughs> it was stinking hot, but we got straight back to work on the area above the windscreen. Love it outside. There's birds and squirrels, chipmunks. Oh my goodness! You want to get any sawdust in here while I sanded down all those holes I filled in yesterday? Trying to keep dust out of the living area this is the challenge. Now I'm gonna paint that area up there. We've been starting the bus up like every day, every couple days to get the cats used to the sound of the engine. She doesn't seem to mind at all, huh? She's doing okay as long as I stay with her. Think she's gonna try to come sit with you while you drive? Yeah. I have to get a little seatbelt for her. The <laughs> seatbelt for her? Yep, cat seatbelt. Mr. Sweetface, where you at, buddy? Mr. Sweetface changes hiding spots, but his most popular one is underneath the bed. I didn't think he could actually fit under there. It's, there's not a lot of space, but wherever he feels safe. Something as weird is happening. Now the bus won't actually start. So learning about more of the electrical system than I bargained to today. It's like utter chaos in there. I can't even see the numbers because there's so many wires. Just trying to get out of here this week. So now Mella has to help me. We're gonna try some troubleshooting. Talking to a mechanic via text who's given us some things we can try to do to see if we can troubleshoot what the issue is. Part of our issues might be electrical, I'm trying to troubleshoot them. But as you can see, it's another rainy day. It's supposed to rain all day and all night. Not what I wanted to be doing when we're supposed to be packing up today. Haven't been filming because I've just been frustrated and troubleshooting and that does not make great videos. The good news is Turned out all we did was blow a fuse after calling a couple mechanics and a friend, troubleshooting a few lines, found the fuse, replaced the fuse, it started right up. Oh man, I'm so glad the bus just started. I mean, I figured he'd figure it out eventually. These little automotive fuses, I bought like 200 of them. 
they're gonna be probably the best investment that I'll make yet. And look who just came out of hiding. Hey bud, how you doing? Look at you, you're not hiding and the bus is going. I'm so proud of you. Good boy, mister. Are you getting used to bus life? Huh? Are you gonna be a bus life kitty? Mm, can go back and hide. Other really exciting news today. My dad and I got the mini split on his mount. Back mini split is going to go into the engine bay. And that means we really don't have anything holding us back from leaving. Pulling off the parking pad, driving out of the woods, and getting on the road. Of course, we need to clean up a little bit more like this magnificent mess of bus guts. During the demolition, we kept all the scrap just in case we could repurpose it. We did use some of it for projects, but it's time for the rest to finally be recycled. Nice and cool. Got a bunch of aluminum here, sir. All in all, we were able to recycle our 400 pounds of aluminum and receive $235 that we will be happy to use as diesel fuel money for our upcoming travel. Before we left the property, there was one special being we needed to say goodbye to before we hit the road. so much I just wish we could have built the bus a little faster so that she could come and enjoy it because she was such a good travel cat she loved traveling so much and just looking out the window while you're driving and I just miss it so much she had such a great soul and she was really special After we got the driveway manicured <laughs> with that 10 foot chainsaw, I had a little itch on my arm. And it took a couple days to find out that I had some pretty bad poison ivy. I've tried everything with this poison ivy and it just keeps getting worse. Nothing is really stopping me from wanting to tear my skin off. Everybody can see your farmer's tan now. <laughs> You're gonna have to work on that. I was looking there looking at my bicep. <laughs> but the to-do list was still waiting regardless of the troubles we faced. We're we gonna start with We're at the station. What? There we go. Pretty sturdy. goal is just to get things secured for driving. There are other things that we're not going to finish before we leave. That's okay. Just the essentials. Perfecto. <laughs> Do you just love 
live in the bus because there's so many little organizing. I like organizing things, it's so nice. Some of us were sleeping on the job, while others worked hard. <laughs> what you working on? Hmm, making something square round. <laughs> Closer. So, we got like less than 48 hours before we plan to leave and things just feel more chaotic. <laughs> it doesn't feel like we're making progress, it just feels like we're making a mess. Right? It's a great morning to go on a ladder and try to fix the electrical. It's pouring rain, we've got thunderstorms now. It is the day before we plan to leave. <laughs> there was all this outdoor stuff that Don needed to get done today. And man, it came down so suddenly on us, We're trying to pack everything away. It's not a fast system to pack away. We are drenched. Like in a matter of like what, like two minutes? Oh well. I'm beat. It's the night before we leave for full time travel for good. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't even know where we're going. <laughs> Oh, it's a long story and we'll tell you about it tomorrow, but it's a little weird. We're leaving tomorrow, that's for sure. But we're just not quite sure which direction we're heading yet. Yeah, so we'll tell you tomorrow. Oh, we slept in a little bit. It's really pretty morning. Most mornings are the same in our house. Mella is on Sweet Face petting duty, and I come in to see how Pizzicato's doing. Because this is her normal hanging out spot right now. She's up most of the night watching out the window, so she's pretty tired during the day. She had a lot of work to do watching all the critters out there. But their life's about to change, because today we're out and start driving around. The reason we weren't sure which direction to head today is the very first stop we need to make is to mechanic. If you've been watching you may remember we had a mechanic come out a little while ago and the fuel filter housing was loose so we don't want to drive too far with it loose. We want to get to the mechanic and have that part replaced. We booked a campsite and then learned that there was a hundred percent chance of thunderstorms. Don was doing the last few things on the to-do list and he discovered that our mini split outdoor unit mount, it was a little too long. He's cutting a piece off right now, we're gonna have to go find a welder very quickly and see if they can weld this together for us. I know I should have tested it with the mini split on it, but the actual a metal piece goes in, so I didn't think it'd be an issue. I'm gonna run over to a local welder, see if we can basically take two inches out of our mini split mount. I filmed the whole thing. 
took him like 35 seconds. I took it over to him. He looked at it and he said, yeah, I can do that. He, f he went around and by the time I stepped back out of the way, he was done. <laughs> yes. Wow. So that little detour over there delayed us a little over three hours from our plan. So it's two o'clock, we're starving. We're gonna have some lunch and kind of discuss if it's worth it because there's still some stuff that Don needs to finish up to get into the bus and strap up. So we're gonna discuss if it's worth it because we don't want to be arriving too late. We don't have far to go, but we still have to go to the gas station, get gas, fill up the tires. We wouldn't have time for that today. It's so tough when you've geared yourself up to leave and then something goes wrong like this. But one thing I've learned with this bus conversion is to go with the flow. I went ahead and called the uh, park and they're gonna let us change our reservation for tomorrow. Today is gonna be the day. What do you think, Mr. Sweet? Is today gonna be the day? Wow. Okay, let's go say goodbye to mom and dad. What do you think? Do you think they're ready to get rid of us? Or do you think they're gonna miss us? Probably a little bit of both. <laughs> yeah, no mom's been sad all week. This is your shakedown cruise, you know? Shakedown, making sure everything's gonna be. Yeah. Well, the driveway's gonna do the shakedown. Get in and out with the bus. Yeah. 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 Joy. Yep. Oh. You're always welcome back here. <laughs> <laughs> see, see you in a week. How you guys doing? I know we'll be back in the bus soon, okay? This is it, guys. that time. We've been so busy. I haven't really processed it. And these are happy tears. I'm so glad we finally made it. Like, this is what we've been dreaming of. some neighbors now and turns out they're on their shakedown trip too. Well the shakedown trip is going very shaky. Is because the first stop has to be at a mechanic. Hey guys, no fighting. Hey, I'm trying to record here. I'm trying to record. Can you be quiet? The reason we're not sure which direction we're heading... <laughs> Could you guys stop? Hey! Hey! What's happening here? <laughs>